You're watching Candid Talk with Tahir Gora at Tech TV. Today, I'm joined with MPP-elect Khalid Rashid, Mrs. Saga East Cooks Riding. Welcome, MPP-elect Mr. Khalid Rashid. Thank you very much, Tahir Saab. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, uh, congratulations on the landslide victory. How do you feel about it? <laughs> it's a, uh, it's, uh, it was really exciting, you know, uh, especially after a very hard-fought uh, campaign. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, it was just uh, I think everybody pitched in, and an extreme hard work from everyone, and uh, you know, uh, thanks to Almighty Allah that you know we got the victory. Wonderful. And I remember I saw a tweet day before election on your Twitter account that you have s some of your uh, campaign team guy and uh, saying that clean sweep. <laughs> <laughs> so you predicted a day before. Uh, no, it was basically, uh, you know, we were working hard and uh, definitely till the very last moment, you, you, don't, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, no, actually, Alhamdulillah, at the end of the day, <laughs> I think we all did it. <laughs> so uh, didn't you prove that uh, um, conservative could win a most multicultural and diverse writing? Because there was a perception before election that your writing, Ms. Saga East Cooksville, was three ways sort of a uh, fight there. Uh, there was a, a liberal incumbent liberal MPP, uh, Deepika. And then there was a strong candidate uh, from NDP, but you really made good numbers. No, so, at, uh, so what we did was that we went and knocked on almost every door in the riding, uh, and we were listening to people's concern. We were bringing our message to them, message about change, and uh, I think it resonated well with with everyone in our riding of Mississauga East Cooksville. Definitely, Minister uh, ex Minister Deepika Darmala, she she was also uh, you know was a minister for I think for all, just around like three four years. Right. So uh, definitely, she did her part, and but we were there bringing the message of change, and I think definitely the people of Mississauga East Cooksville and the people of Ontario were very desperate for change, and I think. Uh, our message resonated well, and uh, we got the victory. You're using the phrase message of change. What is that message of change? Message of change was basically that in the last 15 years, um, you know, especially uh, uh, under the liberal government, under Kathleen Wynne, uh, I, we felt that, you know, the people of this province were not, were not listened. And uh, there were certain things that, uh, I felt were imposed upon us uh, that people of this province were not happy about it. So when Doug Ford became the premier, uh, sorry, when he became the leader, sorry, now I'm, I have to go back. No, yeah. no, 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 uh, he's premier yeah, anyway. Yeah, he's the pre uh, premier uh, <laughs> designated right yeah. now, but you know, so I, when he became the leader and, and even prior to that, it was all about that, you know, we need to bring some positive change in this province, a change where be, pro, Ontario being the economic engine at, at one point was no longer considered as the economic engine of Canada and we had to make sure that it's we bring it back uh, and uh, bring a better health care system. Uh, I always quote people about you know my own personal experience of uh, the health care system and uh, I, I, I used to say to myself Am I living in some other country, or what? What? Where am I living? Where people have to wait for hours, just in in the hallway of a healthcare institution, just to get some checkup done? So that's the change that we were talking about. Right. No, that's the change, and uh, now Ontarians are looking forward to see the results of the change message. Yes. What uh, uh, Premier designated Doug Ford and uh, his team uh, promised in election campaign. So, what are your anticipation about uh, uh, those results? Um, those were just the promises, or you you really think that you, you guys going to bring that change? No, I I I'm looking at it that definitely Doug. Uh, made some commitments which he knew actually that he can fulfill those commitments. It, it was not like he just uh, you know went out there and said okay I'm going to do this I'm going to do that it was a very much calculated uh, you know 
changes that we were we are planning to bring in this province and absolutely i mean uh, I, Doug is someone I believe he's he is the man of his words and I'm sure he's going to keep his, his words uh, absolutely of uh, the promises that he have made. Just not yourself, many others are new MPP in this Ontario Legislative Assembly. Yes. So as a new uh, guy entering into politics, entering into Queen's Park. Yes. Uh, what do you see change within yourself? So, uh, number one, I, I would say that, you know, I, during this entire process, when I was meeting with people, uh, I saw that, you know, what people in day-to-day -day life are struggling. And that's exactly what my uh, colleagues in, in Queen's Park saw in their own respective writings as well, too. And it breaks your heart to see that, you know, people are you know when somebody says uh, at times I don't know if I can if I can warm up my house or put food at the table that, that's just it just kills you inside that you know you really want to do something positive for these people because at the end of the day everybody deserves the best absolutely I agree with you every each of us deserves better life yes and uh, as I can hear your clear ideas for that change. I don't see you just a backbencher MPP. At Queen's Park, uh, my my goal is to be very like proactive uh, in discussions, uh, show, show the people at Queen's Park uh, what my experiences are, and, and definitely uh, <laughs> maybe like one day, you know, uh, if you know, they, they see like, okay, you know, I, I have what it takes to be at, at the next level, then absolutely. But uh, from, a, from my own personal thing, right now, my, my job is to make sure that my constituents, they, they know who I am, uh, you know, because now it's my responsibility to, to work for them as hard as possible. We are building a very good team uh, for our riding of Mississauga East Cooksville. And uh, similarly at Queen's Park as well too, we're gonna work hard and I will let the decision up to uh, <laughs> uh, the team at Queen's Park. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, when we talk about uh, coming on front line for the rights of people of Ontario, uh, as MPP, you can do in any capacity. Yes. And uh, for Ontarians, as well as your uh, job is to seek the um, good, better life for your own community. When I say community, I mean your writing. Yes. Am, am I right? Yeah. It's basically at the end of the day, I'm representing the people of Mississauga East Cooksville. Uh, that's who they chose to, uh, for them to be represented. And uh, I'm, it's an honor. It's absolutely an honor to to be one of those individuals to represent the, the people of Missaga East Cooksville. Uh, I have been living in that riding for the last 14 plus years now. Um, and I always say East Cooksville is my community. What are the biggest issues you see in your own riding? Uh, the biggest issues right now is, uh, uh, number one is the jobs. Like, you know, a lot of people are, are struggling right now. Uh, Missaga East Cooksville uh, riding is somewhat like a middle income to a lower income. Some pockets, not all, some pockets are. So definitely people are really struggling. Uh, small businesses are struggling right now. Uh, one of my very good friend for the last uh, almost like 14, 15 years now actually had to shut down his business just because of uh, certain, uh, you know, the minimum wage issues and stuff like that. Uh, it just simply couldn't keep up. So, uh, you know, we just have to understand what the small businesses are looking for in my writing. I, I, do, I, I do hear them, and definitely that is a message that I've brought forward to uh, our, our premier designate that the, some of the policies that we can make it easy for small businesses to continue doing their business and not shut, shut down their businesses. So unemployment, parking issue, maybe at go station, it's it, always everywhere. It's, 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 it's everywhere. I mean, uh, as I said earlier, in the last 15 years, this, I feel that this province has, has lost quite a bit. And now we just have to work uh, twice the amount 
to make sure that you know uh, we we do the best uh, we can to to bring this province back on its feet. And your riding is uh, very multicultural, diverse, and I would say there is a riding composed of mainly new Canadians. Yes. So, what are the anticipation of new Canadians from this newly elected government in uh, Ontario? So, uh, our riding is uh, definitely a very diverse riding. Uh, a majority of the, the population in our riding is uh, East European, uh, Polish. Uh, so, so, a lot of them are, are settled. Uh, they're like, it's a very like uh, senior riding as well too. Uh, a lot of seniors are already living in, in their homes. But uh, people who are now coming in, into Missaga East, Cooksville, um, are absolutely like they, whenever they see me around, because I live there as well too, they're asking their Khalid, okay, so how, what can be done for us to get some good jobs? Um, you know, what can you do to help us? And I'm always giving them some advices to make sure that, you know, they understand uh, how the Canadian system works. Because sometimes when they come, at times they don't know how, where to start or how to start. And I'm actually in process of uh, forming a small group uh, so that uh, all these individuals who are now coming to Canada, they can uh, definitely uh, reach out to us in order for us to explain to them about job markets and stuff like that. At the end of the day, I just want to help the people, help the people of this great province and the people of Missaga East Coastville. Very good idea, and that's what people are looking for, in fact. Uh, and uh, uh, media and the ordinary citizens, they are quite skeptical of politicians as well, given the especially history of the uh, past 15 years of liberal government mm -hmm. in Ontario. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very optimistic about Doug Ford and uh, his uh, team. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, how do you see um, your own party addressing people's needs? So uh, definitely, like uh, as Doug has said, that you know uh, the number one issue about was uh, absolutely like put more money back into uh, our pockets. Um, I, I'm I'm a firm believer of that because I think that we everybody works extremely hard. Every person in this province works extremely hard. I cannot say that only certain people work, every individual. And uh, when it comes at the end of the day, you know, when they're struggling to make their ends meet, that's when you know that there's seriously something wrong because people do deserve some uh, best for themselves as well too. So I think uh, there are certain things that uh, Doug has uh, has definitely our uh, premier elect has um, designate has uh, promised in terms of putting more money in our pockets, and and, and I see that that's how we can actually kickstart the uh, the engine uh, as well too. I remember uh, during the election campaign, uh, Doug Ford said several times, uh, Ontario is open for South as well. Now we do have. Uh, sort of a NAFTA deal uh, issue with yes. the United States, and United States is our uh, great neighbor. Uh, you know, and it's always a tough time between two traders, yeah. and we do business with the United States. We have long ties with the United States. Yes. Uh, so do you see uh, Duck Ford participating in some way to resolve issues in that uh, tough NAFTA deal? Uh, what I see is that definitely, as Doug, uh, uh, Premier Designate, has mentioned that, you know, he's he's uh, going to be standing uh, with uh, our uh, Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, uh, you know, in terms of the, the NAFTA negotiations, as well as our uh, Foreign Affairs Minister uh, as well, too. So uh, whatever he can give his uh, input in terms of his business background, I'm sure uh, he'll be more than happy to do it because at the end of the day, he knows that the, this province deserves the best and whatever he can do to make sure that, you know, we get uh, as a province uh, and we, what we deserve, I'm sure he's going to be giving his input as well too. Yeah, because we are the biggest province in terms of economy, in terms of population. 
uh, and uh, we get more affected probably. Yeah. Uh, so it's because Doug has promised about economic change, economic yeah. reforms, and those economic reforms would not be possible without having smooth relations with the United States. Oh, absolutely. I, I completely agree, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Doug is, is someone who's going to look into it very carefully because at the end of the day, he wants to make sure that this province gets the best, and uh, uh, and I'm 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 very confident that he's going to do whatever it takes to make sure that we as a province uh, us uh, grow and and prosper again. Anything I'm missing today? You needed to give some message to our uh, uh, viewers as well as to your writing people. Yeah, no, the the, the message is definitely that you know help. It's on its way. Uh, Doug is uh, definitely working extremely hard, uh, and I, I can see that. I can see that that our premier designate Doug Ford is working extremely hard day and night to make sure that he can bring the change to this province uh, that he has promised. And uh, absolutely, change is on its way, and uh, some very positive change. Uh, I always use the word positive change because. That's what people are looking for, and that's what they have elected us for. So, and to the people of uh, my riding of Missaga East Cooksville, uh, my uh, all my information is up there on the website. Feel free to reach out to us uh, or my team at any time. I'm I'm someone who is very approachable and going to make sure that I stay that way, so that the people who have some issues, we are able to resolve it for them. Thank you, and uh, this is a lovely message that change is an honest way, uh, and the help is honest, honest way. way. Uh, with this hope, uh, I really thank you uh, okay. for participating in our uh, little chat, and uh, I hope that would be a great uh, help uh, for our viewers. No, no, absolutely, and, and thank you uh, once again. Thank you very much for having me and giving me the opportunity to come to your show and and uh, you know have a, a very. Uh, great conversation and, and how we say like a fruitful conversation. Thank you very much and no. this is Attack TV, the Mississauga based uh, TV and uh, you are one of our star MPP elect and uh, you, you are always welcome to give any kind of message to Mississauga residents. Thank you very much. Viewers, thank you for watching our candid talk with MPP elect Khalid Rashid.